back to my studio. I hope you're ready for some fun. Tonight, we are having a grenade parade. Namely, everybody's doing grenade pours. So let's get started with Friday with Friends with a little extra fun, blowing it up. Hold on, let's get down to the canvas. Okay, we are. I'm going to be working on an Artist Loft Level 2 gallery wrapped canvas. This is a 12 by 16. I'm going to use a double flip cup, and this is a grenade, which means after I flip them, I'm going to punch holes in them to let the air in, and the cups are going to raise, and they're going to move around. So, we got our two flip cups. Let me go through our colors. I have Artist Loft in Brilliant Yellow. I've got Grumbacher Academy in Prussian Blue. Liquitec Basics in Quinacridone Magenta. Amsterdam Azo Orange. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24K Gold. So, batch of my faves all lined up here. We're gonna have some fun. Have to just be careful. I gotta layer my cups right so that, you know, the right colors get next to each other. This is a 12 by 16, so I need about seven ounces, maybe a little more. Uh, these two cups combined are going to give me 10, so that will be more than enough. So I don't really want to fill these all the way. That's good. That's probably way more paint than I need, but that's okay with me. And I do have some flow extender in titanium white off to the side here if I need it, which I might. All right, so we're gonna flip this one right there and this one over here. Oops, push that one a bit. All right, now. We want these to sit for a minute because we want the paint to start to fall down into that little air gap. We want that air gap to start to rise up. If we don't leave it sit long enough, that air gap won't get up to the top here. And we want to stick our pin into that air gap to help push air in and lift the cup and push the paint out. So, I want to give it a sec, let that move. And then we're just gonna take our pin, and I did not put the pins in beforehand. You can put your pin in before you fill your cup, but I just decided to do it the other way this time. And we're just gonna take some air holes in here and let that one start to go. Give it a second for the air to get in there. You'll see it'll start there. This one's going faster. It'll just start rising up. second let some I can already see a whole batch of bubbles rising I'm draining out the rest of this look at those cups 
Woo. All right. second torch. It's already starting to run over this side so I need to start tilting soon. At least give it a little tilt that direction. Now because it's mainly all to that side I think I'll tilt this way and that way first. I do want to pop a few more of these bubbles. The lovely thing about this is it does create a lot of bubbles. A lot of cells. All right, let's give this a little tilt. a little bit more. Now I'm working on composition more than getting paint off because I really don't need to take off much more. I just want to move things around keep more of what I like, ditch anything I don't like. There's a lot of prettiness going on in here. You notice there's a lot of green no, I wasn't using green, but there's two blues along with the yellow. Gave me a batch of green, which is okay. I don't mind the green at all. some multicolor cells, I've got some cool swirls. I don't really think I want to mess with it too much. Wish I had a little more going on over here, but I can live with it. That is really bright. Go this way just a wee bit more. Because I still have quite a lot of paint on here. So I can move some things a wee bit. All right. 
let me clean up my edges. Remember, you always got to wipe your bum there, guys. And then I'll bring it down for a close-up. Okay, so we have wet results. Look at these cells. They're just so cool. I'm just loving. Look at these. Oh. Oh, look at these. Look at those cells. Oh, awesome. Let's see if you know certain colors are bound to go a little ballistic in your painting and make happy friends with everybody. They are so good to throw in there. Especially if you're doing something like a grenade where you're going to get cells to start with. If you want to make sure you're getting some crazy cell action, you throw in those paints that are going to give you, you know, these crazy cells. Look at these cells. I'm loving these cells. This section over here is really making me happy. Look at those cells. Oh! So gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna let this one dry. So hang in for dry results. Okay, it has been 24 hours and this is maybe, maybe 20% dry. So we're not going to have dry results, but I will give you a quick, another look at this one. And it's semi-wet state. You can see that the outer edges have started to dry, but it is holding its design and shape really nicely. I love this pink down here. So gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Loving that yellow right there. These cells. Oh, so pretty. Alright, so maybe in about a week, <laughs> maybe next week you'll get to see the dry results. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Now, this is part of Friday with Friends, so please follow along the train. After me is Joanne with Joanne Ralston Art, followed by Janet with Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty, and then Betty with Oak by Bettina. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everyone.